Challenge-driven innovation is a framework whereby a large problem is dissected into smaller problems or what we call challenges. Those challenges are then distributed into a network of problem-solving capabilities from internal innovation capabilities to contract labs to crowdsourcing. And then the solutions that arise from that are integrated back into one large solution to that original large problem. Collectively, our solvers are in two categories. One is there are those minds that we reach in which there are literally millions, not only directly through us casting problems on the Innocent website, but through the partnerships that we have with organizations. And then there are the solvers that are registered. And of that number, we have somewhere around a quarter of a million. We find that they tend to be typically well-educated. Interestingly though, they don't solve problems directly in the field in which they receive their degrees and training. They solve problems peripheral to those fields. They port the knowledge they have from one area, some experience from life, and curiosity into a problem-solving mechanism that seems to work and brings together serendipity, elements of marginality, uh, and other phenomenon that we understand are a crucial part of problem-solving. We work with NASA. One of the challenges that NASA posted with us was a challenge to find new ways of predicting solar particle storms. NASA had worked on this problem for three decades. Over that time, they made tremendous progress. But it was one of those challenges in which you could never be too good at it. Um, absolute prediction of these storms would be a great accomplishment. So they posted it on our website. In contrast to the 30 years, in 120 days, we had a solution come in from Bruce Cragen, a retired sprint engineer, who thought about this problem in a completely different way than NASA contractors had been. That's part of the value of diversity and reaching out to large numbers of minds.